<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, after you guys went viral, what was next for you? Like, I mean, you know, obviously, Negs, you were saying, like, you had a lot of personal stuff you were dealing with. Um, but, you know, on the professional level, like, what were your next steps? What was your line of thinking? Like, for me, it was like, I just happened to be in the middle of my Sekiro playthrough. So for me, I just, A, kept playing the game I was already playing, and then B, I put out more clips on Twitter of Sekiro because people saw that, they'd look at my feed, they'd yeah. see more cool clips, and then that would get them more likely to check out the stream. And then I, I think it's about, you know, you got to get those people, and this is the struggle of every variety streamer, someone who starts to watch you for a game that you're playing and then becomes a part of the community and mm -hmm. we'll watch you play other games, right? My my virality only dealt with my experience with a window. So I didn't get to oh. leverage that into anything. <laughs> I remember creation. that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say, um, I think it's really smart that you did that, Loco, because I didn't, and it's something that I would do differently in hindsight. Uh, even going through as much as I was going through personally, I have never been big into social media. And like I said, like I, I literally got premiered just to do that Zelda mm -hmm. thing. Like I was not in the habit of putting clips on Twitter. Um, if I were to go back and do it again, I think the only thing I would do differently is share more clips from that playthrough because I, I really did not lean into it at all. I, I barely, I would engage with other people tweeting about the memes and stuff, but I also made a point. I was like, I, I kind of feel, and this is, obviously subject to uh, everyone's opinions. But for me, I've always think it's a little off-putting when people who go viral for stuff suddenly very deeply lean into it. And they're like, uh, for instance, you know, I used to work with Taze on Day and he did a great job of being like, yeah, chocolate rain happened, but like, I'm also a voice actor and I also make other content and I do other things. If every tweet from that guy was just like chocolate rain merch available now, chocolate yeah. rain guy does this to me personally, as a consumer, I'm like, we get it, dude, you, you had your five minutes. Like, what else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. And not everyone feels that way. A lot of people follow because they want to see the same thing over and over again. For sure. For me personally, I was like, I don't want to be the bunny meme girl. I want to be Nega Oryx. And it's, yeah. oh, yeah. Sh yeah, that was you. That's so cool. I, man, I, I didn't put two and two together, you know? Um, I will say one thing that I was glad to be able to parlay it to was opportunities outside of streaming. Um, so the voice acting job that I did recently, uh, I did a video game called Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. And the guy at the company, they didn't have me audition for it or anything. They just contacted me and offered it to me because someone at the company working on the game saw the Zelda clip, followed me, continued to keep up with my content and was like, she's really good. I think we should bring her in for something. Um, my first hosting gig as well, hosting E3 with Twitch was oh, yeah. the same thing. They were like, oh my God, that bunny clip was so funny. That put you on our radar. We had no idea you were interested in hosting. So I think something to do is mm. A, oh my God, just for the love of all things good and holy, have a pin tweet, have a mm. pin tweet, mm -hmm. have a pin tweet, have a pin tweet, please pin something, something, just something, please <laughs> have your contact information, not just for business emails, but for like where to find you on Instagram, where's your YouTube, where, like, how can people find you if they liked this tweet? so 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 important because the number of business opportunities I had that came through from those experiences I never would have had in a million years ever I was not on people's radar before that I had my own community and I had my own audience on Twitch but I never in a million years would have been able to parlay it into something else mm. so for me I think I capitalized on it in a different way and instead of focusing on the numbers on Twitch I more have looked to like it opened doors outside of Twitch, which was really interesting. Um, and I feel like I'm rambling, so I'll stop, but I could talk no, about this for a minute. No, I love it. This is fascinating. I'm just like so engrossed. <laughs> well, 